Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Once again, guys, this is the Prince of Investing, the Prince of Investing show coming all the way live from Honolulu, Hawaii. But, of course, I'm here in Denver, Colorado. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, comment, and share button for everybody that catches the playback and all the people that are live. Thank you for tuning in. But as always, guys, I don't have a lot of time, and I definitely, you guys don't have a lot of time, so we're going to jump straight into it. So today's topic, as you can see in the description box and to the title, we're going to be talking about index universal life policies, right? You know, these are these strange, thing, uh, strange things that some of us heard about where you can invest with getting some of the market without getting none of the downsides, the whole life policy. But I have a very, very special guest on the line called all the way from Virginia that's going to be our expert. She's our expert. She's a Forbes contributor. Uh, she's a doctor known around the industry, the financial guru, wealth, wealth goddess, financial advisor, wealth guru, all the other great stuff. But I know you didn't come here just to hear my voice, so let me go ahead and introduce my very, very special guest, Mr. Do Miss Dr. Shirley Liu. How are you doing? How are you doing, Dr. Shirley? Uh, thank you very much for having me, uh, Prince. Uh, uh, very much uh, appreciate it. Uh, doing great. Thank okay. you. So now, for the people out there who don't know who you are, who are you? Well, I what I do is um, uh, I'm a basically a broker, and we do business across 50 states. Uh, I got into the mm -hmm. financial services for a very different reason. Uh, my husband had passed away unexpectedly, and left me with three kids, you know, with no life insurance. Mm -hmm. So I wow. yes, yeah, so I wanted to get into the financial and really educate women uh, to understand what's out there, what do you have, and then of course you know Prince, I find out that a lot of men sometimes when I ask them uh, what about you know what's going on with your financial, and the next answer they give me is that oh my wife does it all, you know so it's a conversation wow. that I don't think men and women have frequently enough uh, that's needed. Yes. Wow. So oh. you 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 um. With three kids, your husband passed away with no life insurance. Yes, sir. Well, wow. How tough. did you How did you make it? How did you figure it out? Well, you know what? To be honest with you, it was a struggle at that time because uh, you know when you're sitting there, you got you know four mouths to feed. Where do you go? And uh, I was very fortunate in my life at that time. I uh, heard that in the industry there were new product emerging, uh, indexed uh, annuity and indexed life. And to be honest with you, you know, 13 years ago, it sounded too good to be true. No one believed me. No one trusted it. Never heard of it. Do you know today is one of those a miracle days? I had a client 10 years ago, a doctor, a uh, cardiologist, came in today. He said, Miss Lou, I'm 70 years old. You met me 10 years ago. You did my first annuity account. I gave you a total of $331,000. You told me I could never lose my money. You told me I can have guaranteed lifetime income. Can I please execute it today? Do you know I'm proud to say, Prince, that I today I executed a lifetime income stream of $41,000 every year to the day he dies. He'll never, ever run out. And God forbid, he, if he ever gets sick, the money doubles. Wow. How's that? Now, yeah. That's the thing about it, great topic. And the reason why we're having this topic today is I want to get into annuity. I want to get into, it's like a hidden gem on the financial industry. You know, we all think about stocks, bonds, CDs, real estate, um, all the Forex, all these other type of investment vehicles that are great for everyone that's out there. But it's a hidden gem. No one ever knows about life insurance and how life insurance can play a role or be used as an investment vehicle. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the pros and the cons of it and things like that. Now, someone out there who doesn't know, uh, index universal life policy, what is that? Well, index universal life policy is kind of like a hybrid life insurance where it gives you the best of both worlds, okay? So let's start back with the very basic fundamental first. You know, you know people go to work, they have uh, term insurance. Cheap goes away, and eventually you don't have it. Okay, uh, that's term. And then they got the, the whole uh, whole life four percent uh, guarantee. Then the universal life that will gives, gives about six percent guarantee. And the last part is the variable universal life where you make a lot of money but you could lose a lot of money. Well, the index is, is a hybrid between the two. Here's what it does: the index is that if you gave me ten dollars. That ten dollars, part of it will be paying for life insurance, and the rest of it will goes into somewhat like an investment. 
Now, under the index universal life is that they're not going to take your $10 and invest it in the market. They're just going to use the market, the S&P 500, as a way to measure how much credits to give you when the market does perform. So, for example, there were years where um, the market did really well. Well, guess what? My client made, in some cases, make 17, 18, 25 percent gain inside a life insurance policy. However, when the market mm. was losing money for the past couple of days, weeks that you've been seeing, it's locked down. Uh-huh. There are no losses at all. So what you have is you have like a staircase. When the market performs, you go up with the market, and the market goes down. It's locked down, and there are no losses. So that, to me, is what an indexed universal life it does. And to be honest with you, you know, because it's important, you know, I don't, I mean, I want my money to gain, and at the same time, I'm concerned about the market loss. So index gives you the best of both words without that. But guess what, bud? Here's the thing, what people don't understand about. You're right, Prince. Mm-hmm. It is the absolute gem of the industry because inside of life insurance, the money is growing tax-deferred. If you structure this thing properly, the entire things, all the gain is tax deferred as well. And then you've got compounded interest on top of it. And then when you take it out, you structure it out as a loan feature with no taxes for your retirement. How's that? Okay. That sounds um, pretty good, right? Now, now, I had a question for you, right? Yeah. Now, when you said that you, is there a cap on your upside? Because you said that, hey, you get all the, the market gains, but you get none of the market losses. Is there a cap to the upside? Well, under index universal life, a lot of uh, agency brokerage firm out there will be selling you index IUL. But the one that I have that I represent some of my carrier has no cap. Okay, Prince, a lot of financial advisors are going to be sitting there. Their, their mouth is probably dropping right now, okay? They're like, no, what do you mean, <laughs> no cap? <laughs> I can tell you that, okay? Because you know how I go into a room and I say that? They look at me like, oh, what planet are you from? You know, planet Earth, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, well, the reason I have uh, several um, companies uh, that have proprietary product uh, that's specially designed for us, for our clientele, that is no cap. What I mean to say that is I'm talking about no cap on the gain, okay, but Whatever the S&P 500 mm-hmm. does, you can make that. Now, it depends on the carrier and the company. There may be a fee involved with it, okay? So, for example, Prince, let's say one company said, you know what, if the market makes – I don't care how much it makes. You know, let's say make 25%. I may take a 4% fee. They'll credit you 21%. Follow, follow me? Okay? Uh, one okay. company may say, you know, yeah. You know, so they, they range as, you know, 4, 4% or 4.75. But here's the beautiful part. There's no, I mean, there's, the floor is zero. However, there's also another scenario where if the client may say, oh, I don't want the 4% fee, fine. Then we'll put you into an index product where you can have a cap, could be at 12.5 or 15% or whatever it may be, but there's mm-hmm. no fees on that. But the maximum you can earn on those is a 15%. You understand what I'm saying? Or 12%. Um, because as an independent a broker, I can represent many companies and find what's the right best solution. You know, so that's what it is. Um, but there's another unique thing to this, and I'm about to shock you right now. Prince, imagine mm-hmm. this. Are you ready? You're I'm a business ready. owner. You're a business owner, mm-hmm. and typically a business owner have what is called your retirement plan. They may create a what's called 401K, IRA, whatever. Mm-hmm. The very old traditional mm-hmm. stuff, right? What if I came to you mm-hmm. and I say, Prince, what have you used an account where we're using the bank's money to front load into your retirement account? Using the bank's hmm. to front load into your retirement account. Have the you heard of that? The bank's money. So you're using the bank's money to front load into your retirement account. What is that called? It's guess what? An index universal life policy life. What if I can tell you, mm. let's say you're a business owner, and I'll give you a really good, great example. Let's say today, you know, typically you may go and put on a, uh, in an IRA $25,000. Well, imagine if you put in 25000 my bank matched you twenty five. You put another twenty five k, my bank matched you another twenty five. We do it for five consecutive years, you're done, bud. You no longer have to put anything in there, Prince. Year 6 through 10, 25 to 25 is 50000 right? My bank will mm-hmm. fund the entire $50,000 for the next five years after that. You're talking about index IUL on steroids. Do you understand what I'm saying here? Mm-hmm. You're having front-loaded money into the account, 
that you can put it on steroid where now it's growing tax deferred and it's in an S and P five hundred, right? Where now you can have mm-hmm. a market gain and if the market goes down you still don't lose anything. The only catch is very simple. The money that I gave you uh, from the bank, they're going to charge you an interest rate, a very low interest rate, LIBOR rate, right? LIBOR is very mm-hmm. low, you know that, right? How, now how much? How much is this? How much is this interest rate going to be? Well, LIBOR, uh, typically about LIBOR plus about uh, bank fees. Uh, LIBOR has been what running some sometimes three percent, two percent, four percent, you know, five percent. Mm-hmm. So think about this. You're loaning out the money, right? Let's say at 4% or 5%, mm-hmm. right? But at the same time, you've got this other money, your money, plus the bank's money on top of it, putting it into an index product where it can participate, S&P 500. And we did a hypothetical illustration roughly around 7% long-term. Here's the beautiful part about this account. Inside this life insurance, you know, uh, utilizing this unique feature uh, down the road, uh, the bank, of course, would goes in after 15 years, gets their money out, of what, you know, what they loan you, right? So they reach inside mm-hmm. your life insurance and take that portion out, leave the rest money for you, and imagine this. At age 65, the account distributes tax-free income versus loan feature. Um, it's pretty neat, you know, via loan feature. Um, let's say, gosh, I, I did one the other day for a kid 30, uh, 32 years old, putting in 20000 a year, and at retirement, she's going to get like $150,000 tax-free retirement every single year for the rest of her life. $150,000 tax-free. Now, what if, what if someone came in and got an IUL, Index Universal Life, and let's say they were 30, but they want to retire at 45? Well, Could that be done for them, the or do they have to wait to 65? You, you don't have to wait to 65. It's, retirement is all about how much you put in and how much you can make during the time that you have. Remember I told you that program on steroids, are you on steroids, the way using the bank's mm-hmm. program? I'm telling you, if you structure it properly, right, whether you're 40 years old mm-hmm. and let's say 15 years from now, which is you're 55 and you said, hey, I want a stream of income, what a great way to front load, right, using other people's money and then after 15 years, we pay the bank the loan money off, and then we turn right around, guess what, distribute a tax-free income from that life insurance. And not only that, you ready for this, But The IUL, mm-hmm. the index IUL is not only life insurance, guess what it has nowadays? It has chronic illness, critical illness, critical injury. It has terminal. It has accelerated. Every single benefit that I have gave you at no charge included as well. So now you've got a $1.5 million life insurance. If you get critical injury, you can accelerate a part of it, right, to use while you're alive mm-hmm. and not dead. Because, you know, I see a lot of time people get sick way before they're dead, Prince. Wow. And if you okay. think that's going to happen to you, Index IU is the perfect way to do it. And, uh, and I love now it. I have a I question. Have, mm-hmm. Yeah. Dr. Dasher, I got a question for you. Yeah. What are the downsides to this? What's the well, disadvantages? You ready? Here's, I wouldn't ready. call it the disadvantages, but the, the, the it's a long-term thing, right? Number one, mm-hmm. when you think about this, okay, I want to save this for a retirement stream of income down the road. You, you have to do it for a long term. It's not something you get in a year, two years, four, four, five years and get out of, okay? It is a 10-year better plan, right? That's the first thing. The second mm-hmm. thing is that the, what I get objections is that, oh, I hate life insurance, Right? But guys, let me tell you, people don't, don't you realize life insurance is one of the most best creation of wealth where you leave a legacy for your family? And guess what I find out? Majority of the uh-huh. American of U.S. of A. do not leave any legacy for their family most of the time. Most of the time, wow. even in the minority community, think about it, when they pass away, what happens? They pass a hat around. Or today, they go, go fund me. <laughs> right? Okay, I you know, are. Well, we should change it. You and I have the power to let our kids become millionaire overnight. Rich people know how to leave generation to generation of wealth by utilizing life insurance, and the rest of us don't, honestly. We don't. Why? Mm. You know, don't you rather have your kids, you know, other kids borrow your kids' money instead of vice versa? Mm -hmm. See, see, I believe if you and – yeah, I mean, I I see it all the time. So, So for one thing is that – Life insurance leave a legacy, a generation of it, okay? And, okay, now another thing, objection. Oh, what is it? oh, I hate to pay life insurance. Well, I just told you it's one of the greatest shelter being able to, you know, have an account growing tax deferred and becomes tax 
advantage tax-free. The other thing is, okay, so what? I pay, let's say, 25% fee, right, for a life insurance, but it does give my family tax-free death benefit. I think that's important. Do I rather pay Uncle Sam the money, or I rather pay 25% of that inside a life insurance policy to leave something for my family? I think I'd rather have for my family okay. instead of Uncle Sam. You know? Yeah. Got a question for you, right? So for mm-hmm. people out there that are not following what we're saying, just tune it on. So index universal life policy is a uh, it's technically insurance policy that you pay just like regular life insurance, but some of the money goes to your premium, your life insurance. The rest yes. of the money goes into a separate account that tracks the S&P 500, that gets some of the S&P or all of the S&P 500 ups, none of the downs. Now, that money that's over there, can I borrow against that money? Absolutely. That's the other beautiful part. If there's cash value into the account, you know, that uh, you have it and cash surrender mm-hmm. and all that stuff, it's beautiful. You can always take up to, believe it or not, up to 90% of your money because why? You wow. want to still keep the other 10% active so that the account doesn't go, you know, into a taxable event. And so, okay, okay. if I need money, I borrow against it. And by the way, how about this? What if you borrow it and you don't have to pay it back? How's that? So you don't have to pay the money back? No. And so people said, whoa, 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 what do you mean you don't have to pay it back? Okay. Here's now, why you don't have to. Stop, I got a question. Another question yeah. too. Before I jump yeah. into that, what do you have to okay. say to the person that says, "Hey, instead of paying all this money in a whole life policy, why don't I just get me a cheap term policy, just invest the rest into the S and P 500?" What do you have to say to that? Well, I'll give you an example. You've heard of a, I, I hate to say this name, but it'll start with the letter P. Okay. The letter P company promote that. Buy terms, invest the difference. Right? So I wish I Prime America. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. So what happens is that I said, you know what, I wish I can bring some of those agents sit across all my clients that are 50s, 60s, try one of them 71 years old today, radio show host on Sirius XM find out that his term has ended and now it's going to cost him, you would not believe, almost $20,000 mm. a year for a term policy of same coverage. How do you explain that, okay? Because all the terms the term, are running the out. The term eventually runs out. They run out. It okay. runs out, and they can't qualify. They're too old and all this stuff, and it just cost prohibited, right? So that's buying term, okay? Because you're betting against the insurance company, you can die a certain period of time. I don't know when I'm going to die. And if you look at a statistic, how much term pays out? Are you kidding me? I wish they could sit in front of my clients today, Prince, the one heartbreak that he's got, you know, diagnosed with um, cancer. You know what I mean? Things like that. He said, surely, unless I die within the next six months, my family will not get anything. Did you know there was a, um, a congressman? i got to get you the article. There was a gentleman who had committed suicide because he had to do it because his term was getting ready to run out, and he was sick, and he wanted his wife to collect wow. the money. Yeah. So, so uh, now- invest the difference. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to answer the, about invest the difference. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, invest the difference. Great if the market goes up. Huh. What happened? The market goes down. Do you know? Three days ago, I had an opportunity. Sat across the vice president, vice president level of uh, a very big bank, Capital One. Okay, mm-hmm. he has a group of uh, investment, you know, folks that he runs operation, all that, right? So he saw my program that I told you about the index using, you know, life insurance, and I did a hypothetical return of seven percent, right? Do you know what he said to me, uh-huh. friends? He goes, Miss Lou. You're running it at such a high interest rate right there, aren't you? And I looked at him dead in the eyes, and I said, excuse me, sir, I'm using the S&P 500. And he said, well, you know what the S&P 500 has been for the past 20 years. It's only 5-point-something percent return. Did you know that, Prince? Mm. Did you know that all the 401K, the IRA out there, it's been only 5-point-something, and all these financial advisors, a lot of folks, too, no, it's awesome, it's awesome. But, guys, it's always been awesome the last five years. You know what? I, I say things that people don't like to hear it. But you know what? I admire this executive that he sat there, and I told him, I said, do you know you're the first executive admitted to me that because most of the time fight against me that. And then so I went back to say, I said, oh, by the way, you told me that my 7% is kind of high. Aren't your entire team is recommending folks to put in stock and mutual fund and other stuff? Isn't that 
uh, that you believe in the market's going to do well, you and I are linked to the same market. I believe in the long term the market could make money. So what's not mm-hmm. to like? Yeah. It now, was cool. The question is, so, so you're saying historically IULs, following the S&P 500, taking some of the ups and none of the downs, returns about 7%. Yes, more than that, more than seven, yes. So seven is and like I, the floor. Well, what we did, we went back um, 20 years. Uh, in the index product, depends on the fund that you have. And every fund that I had, um, it has um, averages more than 7%. That's correct, more than seven. And the S&P only did five wow. point something, 5.76 or something like that, yeah. And then also, number. if I had a custodian account, if I started my own custodian account or whatnot, mm-hmm. um, so, and I did it for my children, and I did this mm-hmm. for my children, and I had a custodian account, I have to pay taxes on that money, on that long-term capital gains. Now, with the IUL, do you recommend those for children? Oh, do you know what? I I just did one the other day where I front-loaded into the, the, the child's uh, children's account. So that when it's uh-huh. 18 years old, these parents, uh, they just had the baby, uh, they front load into this thing, uh, and that way, you know, they can take it out as a loan feature with no taxes. Um, that's a unique way. Every um, every client is different, of course. You know what I mean? Uh, it depends. Some client tells me, oh, surely I want to get 20000 a year, or I, get, I want 50000 100000 uh, you know, for paying mm-hmm. college education. And then, of course, some of them said, oh, surely I only can do 50 bucks a month, you know? So, again, you know, it mm-hmm. depends um, what kind of money we're talking about. How much the parents can put in? Exactly. How much parents can okay. put in? Because this is a decision we need to make, okay, do we put it into using the parents' account you know, as a shelter, or do we use it as the, uh, the child? You know what I mean? So in that case, mm-hmm. everybody is different. Uh, how this thing is designed, but um, I love it. I think it's new dynamic way of doing uh, a saving and investment retirement. Gosh, there'll be another session. Hopefully, you and I can talk about so much more uh, okay. than what an IEO can do. You know. Yeah. Okay. So for people out there that are listening that are tuning in across the globe, and they're like, "Wow, this sounds like a pretty awesome idea." They want to get more information from you. How do we get in contact with you? Well, you know, they can Google me. It's real easy. Or do you, easy. Or do you sure. just want to tell them? <laughs> Shirley. Yeah. Or do you and want then, to tell them, hey, contact friends, okay. Yeah, Shirley, S-H-I-R-L-E-Y. Yeah, and Lou, L-U-U. But you can uh, ShirleyLouFinance.com. Um, ShirleyLouFinance.com. Uh, and one of the things that's coming uh, upcoming 2018, 2019, you're going to be seeing a lot more uh, exposure uh, of things that I'm going to be involved with. You know, I know that mm-hmm. I've just recently, you know, um, signed some uh, agreement with uh, some of the ESPN uh, show that I'm going to be on. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of radio show. Uh, I am on a lot of cable okay. show, uh, TV shows now. Mm-hmm. And, uh, been fortunate enough, you know, like I said, exposure you know, in the Forbes uh, October 2016 issue. And actually, uh, summer of this year, June, uh, there are going to be several articles coming out. Uh, one of them is in the Oprah magazine, you may have um, and oh, also wow. another uh, entrepreneur magazine as, as well, and of course I've got you know tons of other fake <laughs> you know, podcasts and things like that that I'm scheduled to you know talk and uh, just okay. getting on and getting all these different products out there to people that they don't know. There are okay. no cost to contact me um, at all. Um, it's a free you know I've got a team of associate across 50 states um, everywhere I go to Texas like you said I'm I'm flying to California I'm going to Vegas I do a ton of speak engagement events, and what's nice is that corporation and company and attorney now are all reaching out to me and joining partnership uh, in getting this financial education out there to the folks, you know. And uh, my all direct right. line, uh, my direct cell contact is 703-608-1203, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. And definitely, and all the contact information, website, and stuff will be in the description box so you guys can see. And uh, if you want to reach out to me, Shirley Lou. So, Shirley, to anybody out there, that's Dr. Shirley, anybody that's out there, is there anything that you want to say before we get out of here? Yeah, you know what? Um, I know, you know, uh, we'll give you a free uh, analysis, take a look at where you are. Uh, at the same time, um, we're growing tremendously as well, too. And as a matter of fact, uh, uh, right now I'm doing a bunch of hiring as well, too, Prince. So if anyone want to gain in mm. the financial industry, I'm always looking for good people uh, as I'm you know, spreading my wings uh, really big, fast right now. And I love to partner up with some of the good people out there, you know. 
And thank you so right. much, friends. Uh, I can't wait to meet you one day mm-hmm. as well. <laughs> I'm nobody to meet. Trust me, I'm nobody to meet. But you know, uh, anyway, my sister live in thank- Denver. My sister live in Denver. Okay. Oh wow! Wow. Okay. Cool, Are you in Denver? Cool. We're Denver to How make far? that happen. Yes, I'm in Denver right now. Shooting, oh. you know, even though we're shooting in Hawaii. So, uh, but anyway, guys, we got to wrap the show up. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I'm your host, the Prince of Invested, Prince Dice, coming to you guys live from Hollywood, Hawaii. Until the next video podcast, or whatever you see me do crazy around the globe, peace, be safe, I'm out, and thank you.